more than 24 hours to try to flush that and start fresh. We'll see if she's able to do so against India's Vinesh Fogat, the 28-year-old and the Olympic qualifier. We are underway. Our first bronze medal at 53 kilos. India in the red. Vinesh Fogat, Olympic qualifier, did not medal, lost in the quarterfinal round in the Tokyo Games, matched up against the really future of Sweden wrestling when you look at the young 21-year-old Yona Malmgren. Took eighth in Oslo a year ago, a chance for the senior medal. She shoots low right in on that ankle. Good scramble here from Vinesh. Vinesh able to get control, actually, so she'll get the two. Holmgren unable to clear up her left arm. Still digging in hard off that initial leg that she started this whole exchange on. And good job there by Vinesh, fending it off and getting the takedown. She already had some problems with her knee. She got this injury, I think, 2016 at the Rio Olympic Games. I will never forget she had so much pain. But she's really a great wrestler with the right priority of moves. A lot of people thought Vinesh was one of the more dangerous wrestlers in this field. She entered unseated, but boy, she was red hot toward the tail end of this year, winning the Commonwealth Games. Eight-time Asian medalist. Through some knee issues, as you talked about a few years back. Again, Smallgren, the initiator. She's, she's coming calm. Venus is doing a little bit calmer this time, focusing on the counter attack and the defense right now. What's Smallgren need to do differently? That's twice now we've seen her get in on the leg, both times coming up short. Yes. That's what I said. She's so fast and so good at scratching the leg and now she has to continue but she's able to do as we saw it yesterday many times but in this time Vinesh is yeah she's here and she's really good at defending you see she's she's a little bit waiting on this situation Two minutes have come and gone in this opening period. Vinesh with the 2-0 advantage. Yeah, she's a little bit more waiting. Marion is trying to do her moves and she's moving more. But Vinesh is waiting for her, for her leg attacks. Last year, Malmgren was a Junior Worlds gold medal winner, won that in Russia. Missed out on the Olympics, though, as she took seventh in the last chance qualifier held in Sofia. She's won the Youth Olympic gold medal back in 2018. She's a Junior World champion, so future so bright for her, Yona Malmgren, and I'm sure she'll use yesterday's semifinal losses. Another step along the ladder as far as teaching moments and moments to learn from as she builds in what will be a very, very eventful career here at the senior level for Sweden. Of course, these painful moments are bad in this moment, but you will learn, like you said, a lot of this. And I think the Swedish corner knows how to wrestle because Sofia Matson wrestled Vinish many times before. So maybe they had now the best idea to, to beat her. You know, as you go back through your career, culminating with the Olympic gold in Tokyo, but especially your younger years, such as a Yona Malmgren, 19, 20, 21 years old, what were some of the most important lessons you learned on the mat during a match? And it might have been in the pain of a loss, like we saw last night in the semis. Yeah, it's really to don't give up. 
and to believe in yourself and in your strength and your style. Don't change it because it doesn't work out one time. Maybe the next time it can. Maybe it's just this girl or this wrestler type which is bad. But you have to believe in yourself and you have to stay on your own and to do your own moves better. And then you can beat anyone. We've seen this before three, four different times. It's been Malmgren shooting. And I think she does it. Maybe she, she can lose because of this, because she lost two points. But she's believing in her, you know? She's trying and trying. She's committed to it. Yes. Maybe she won't do this time, but maybe next. She won't give up, I'm sure. The referee getting on V-Nash a little bit, wanting some action. That is a verbal warning, so no activity clock yet. There's action from Vinesh, and promptly she comes right in, barrels ahead, and gets the two. We had not seen the explosion from Vinesh until right there. I mean, she had been kind of waiting, waiting, waiting. And she launched right in, did not want to get put onto the activity clock, and she creates a little separation and a 4 0 lead. And there you see the word class athlete. If she wants, she can score. And now she's trying to come down again to get the hold. Tactically really strong. Venish won the Asian Championship a year ago as Malmgren shoots in. A little bit of a different situation here, but Vinesh with the strength is able to roll Malmgren over, get her exposed, and a six. Nothing advantage, man. She is tough. Now Malmgren trying to bridge up underneath, all curled up. Venish might smell blood in the water here if she can clear her legs out. Malmgren's able to get back to her base, though, in the meantime. But comfortable lead here for India. Yes, but like we saw yesterday, 6-0 sometimes means nothing. Yeah, maybe Malmgren can flip the script from what happened to her 24 hours ago. Doesn't have a lot of time. Vinesh, with all of her experience, she'll use her hands, try to tie up Malmgren. Vinesh ducks in on a shot. Really great shot. She used the right moment and the pressure of Jonna Malmgren and has the arm trapped underneath. See if she tries a tilt. Short time wrestling up eight. Oh, looks like she's going to be content to hold this lead. And it's another world medal for Vinesh Fogat. She won a bronze three years ago in Kazakhstan. And now here in Belgrade, Serbia, Vinesh Fogat has picked up. Another bronze for India.